Hi, welcome back to Physics for Cause. My name is Siam Dengwal, and today in this particular presentation, we are going to talk about a new topic: methods of charging. In the previous presentation, we have talked about the properties of an electric charge. Now, in this particular presentation, we will be going to talk about the transfer of charge from one body to another body. That term is referred to as charging. And the modes or the methods required to do this particular step is known as the methods of charging. So there are three methods of charging which you will be going to see in this particular presentation. Here, if I am going to talk about the methods of charging, charging, we have three methods. Number one is conduction, second is induction, and third one is friction. So let us begin with the very first topic of conduction. So our heading is conduction. So if I'm going to talk about this particular topic in this method, in this method, a charged body is brought, is brought in contact with the uncharged one, in contact with the uncharged conductor. Here, if I am considering a body which is positively charged, let us consider this is a body which is positively charged. Positively charged body. And I, I have a neutral body. Neutral body which has no charge. And when I bring these two as a direct contact, अगर मैं इनको आपस में डायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट करवाता हूं लाइकवाइज दिस दिस इज द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज स्पेयर एंड दिस वन इज द नेगेटिव सॉरी न्यूट्रल चार्ज स्पेयर व्हाट विल हैपन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम दिस पॉजिटिवली चार्ज स्पेयर विल गो टुवर्ड्स द न्यूट्रल चार्ज स्पेयर एंड इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिवली चार्ज एज वेल so this is the conduction where charge is transferred from one body to another this is one body and this is another body the charge is getting transferred from a body to the b body so this is the method of conduction second is about induction induction okay so in this particular method a charged body is brought close to the uncharged conductor closed to the uncharged conductor but does not touch it but does not touch it here it is not any direct contact in the previous presentation we have seen about the conduction where we have talked about the direct contact here i have mentioned the direct contact of the body but in this particular induction method there is no direct contact between the two body so if i would consider that i have a plastic rod this is a plastic rod which is negatively charged and here i have a handle to hold this plastic rod so let us write this is a handle and if i consider uh, another body which is positively charged and negatively charged then what will happen what i am going to talk about this is positively charged and negatively charged this means that equal number of positive charge and equal number of negative charge it make it a neutral so uncharged conductor so what will happen this particular plastic rod which i have mentioned with the handle and i would earth it this is earthing so what will happen the negatively charged will get loose out so in stage number 3 this plastic rod will be negatively charged but here it is wholly positively charged so the body this body is wholly positively charged 
So this is the method of induction where a charged body is brought close to the uncharged conductor but does not touch it. Moving towards the third one, if I'm going to talk about the third one, I have friction. Friction. This condition is mostly used in insulators. Insulators. Experimentally, it is found that when a glass rod is rubbed with the silk thread, during this process, glass rod loses some of its electron and becomes positively charged. And then lost electron are gained by silk and it becomes negatively charged. If I would consider this a glass rod, glass rod, this is a glass rod and this is a silk. When I will rub silk and glass, the glass would acquire the positively charged and the silk would acquire negatively charged. So this charge has been acquired due to the friction produced between the glass rod and the silk. Friction developed between glass rod surface and silk. A similar example we can consider when we rub a balloon on head with applying friction with applying friction. This is an electrostatic force. Similar example is about attracting bit of paper, bit of paper by balloon or by a ruler or I would say scale. So these are the examples of electrostatic force, but this electrostatic force is due to the method of charging, which particularly is about the friction. Here, if I consider a body, body A, and I rub it with body B, this is body B, then the electrons will get transferred. This method is rubbing. This is rubbing causes friction. Rubbing causes increase in thermal energy. Here, some outer electrons falls from one body to another, one body to another body. This is the case when the electrons from the A falls from A to the B, or we can say that their mass of A would be less than the mass of B, or we can either say that A will have loss of mass in this case and B will have gain of mass in this case because the electrons are getting transferred from A to B or we know that charge cannot exist without mass as we have discussed it earlier. So Charge cannot exist without mass. So in this particular presentation, we have talked about the method of charging. Number one is conduction, where I have talked about the um, charged body is brought in contact with the uncharged conductor having a direct contact. In the second slide, we have got, discussed about the induction, where a charged body is brought close to uncharged conductor, but it does not touch it. There is no any direct contact. In the third one, I have talked about the friction, which is developed by rubbing due to the thermal energy. Some outer electrons fall from body A to the body B. Thus, electrons causes charge and charge cannot exist without mass. Therefore, mass of A will be less than mass of B or we can say that A will have loss of mass and B will have gain of mass. I hope that this method of charging uh, you got clear about this particular topic. In the next presentation, we will be going to talk about Coulomb's law, law of electrical force. Thanks a lot for watching the video.